Hello all viewers and subscribers Again new FPV camera system from AKK technology This one is called AKK AIO SA This is 5.8 40 channel System and supports smart audio Let's see what's in the box Again, as usual, you can see well protected package with the camera. Another sponge, adapter cable, and of course, manual with wiring diagram. Let's put it on a scale. So this system weights 5.25 grams with adapter cable 5.71 grams. So what is this that is special with this with this uh, system? Well, special is that it is I think it is the first one with uh, smart audio cable it means it has uh, you can use your better flight osd to control everything uh, power output uh, band channel whatever is on better flight you can configure it via via your controller and this has if you need or if you own some Oh, your OSD this is this wire this loop wire you just need to cut it and put your OSD in between this is actually video out and video in cables from the camera as you can see on the diagram so green one is video out and yellow is video in here and this is loop cable between green and and yellow wire so it means that camera goes through that wire back in this transmitter of course as all AKK systems you have a small button and several LEDs here which are really tiny and this button is used for changing uh, band frequency channel and power output uh, one important thing I didn't mention it is that this system has uh, four power outputs I think let me check yeah 25 50 100 and 200 milliwatts of power it is uh, as I said, 40 channels, so it has a band A, B, E, F, and R raise band. And let's hook it up <coughs> to see how it works. I will use this adapter. There. Now I can see some LEDs on, and I'll remove this cap and check the manual to see what these LEDs mean as I would suggest probably by short pressing the button you change the channels I see the blue flashes each time you change and on channel 1 it should be always on yeah this is probably channel one let me see in the manual yeah uh, and one other thing this one also has a pit stop mode pit stop mode is 0 0.01 milliwatts of output it is available through osd on your beta flight so 
let's change how to change the band as usual long press button for two seconds and now you can see this red flashes and this is actually you can maybe you can see it moving that's bands a b c a b uh, a b e f and r and the power output is changed by pressing uh, this button for I think four seconds yeah so let's press it now there's a second blue LED and when it's on it's on the 25 milliwatts by pressing the button each time it changes to 50, 100 and 200 milliwatts sequentially okay let's see on the screen this should be A1 channel I hope Ah, it's not so I have to change the band I oh, know I pressed something here let's do the auto search it says C3 C4 oh, it's too close so I have a picture everywhere No, not D7, D8, this is R1. Well, let's see if it's, maybe it is on R1. If R is topmost uh, red lead, let's change it. Long press for two seconds. Now short press. Yeah, this, this last one is R bend. LED I will put it on A the lowest LED I don't I know you can't see it and now I will change my band here to A1 yeah you can see it's on A1 maybe you can see it over here great so about these five LEDs in a line, red ones, the lowest means A band and up, as up you go, it is B, E, F and R. Now I'm going to, what I'm going to do now, I'm going to change the power to, let's say 200 milliwatts of power. So I need to long press this one for more than four seconds. Bends. Now power. One. Now it's 50. Again it's 100. And again it's 200. If I press again, the blue LED will be on again. It, it means that it will be on 25 milliwatts. I will leave it on 200. and what I like about these micro systems they are good for everything let me switch that off I mean not just for mini quads obviously you're gonna use it on some sort of mini quad but I like to use those things on everything on mini RC planes this is ultra mixes ultra micro series from from e flight you can put that camera anywhere you like it I mean 
this five grams can just put it almost anywhere for FPV or you can use it in something bigger like this a simple scout from flight test all up all up weight is uh, for this camera with battery is probably around nine grams so actually you can put it anywhere you like it on the wing and since it has a 200 milliwatt of output power range should be really good let me just put it on the scale again like this and let me add a small battery oops sorry something something is wrong let's do it again so yeah i was right around 9.7 grams so 10 grams with 10 grams you can have a fpv on any vehicle i mean cars airplanes helicopters quads and i was testing before the akk split system which had 25 milliwatts of power not 200 like this one and with with that system i got a clear picture without any disturbance up to 700 meters in open space so this one probably has a much better range probably more than one kilometer since that one had a uh, 600 meters this is this is more powerful unit and i will test it inside since the weather in croatia is cold windy and it's not good for flight and i will most important i will test how this camera and this system reacts on sudden light changes it's when you fly when you fly in well <coughs> well light uh, room to the darker places i will see how it re reacts and i forgot to tell you but i think you know already uh, this system can be powered independently with independent battery as i did it in my short review and also it can be powered via beta flight osd so you have to check if that uh, con your controller can provide enough power for this uh, for this unit if not just use external battery and let's see in the manual power needed it works from 3.2 to 5.5 volts so actually you have a wide range of power i know that that uh, controllers usually supply uh, around 5 volts so it's quite good if you're gonna use it if you're gonna power it up from your controller if not or if you don't have a controller you can just power it up with with the standard 1s battery and here is a flight footage again the same procedure as before two rooms are lighted hallway is in complete dark you can see now that there is a noise in the dark which is normal this is completely dark and change between light and dark places is quite good unfortunately i didn't charge my battery on the on the mini quad so you can see my hand now uh, i will just move it across the rooms with my hand for this uh, test so you can see these changes between light and dark uh, i have to mention again 
that my complete apartment is made of concrete with a steel armature so each room is sort of Faraday's cage it's very difficult for any signal to pass through that and as you can see I have no loss of picture or, or interference of or nothing and uh, that's good that's actually quite good you can be sure that uh, this little camera with 200 milliwatts of output power will be quite enough for flying indoors and outdoors probably up to one kilometer thanks for watching and uh, see you next time bye